Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to be here. Uh, very excited. Uh, very exciting for the opening of Breaking Grounds. Uh, all of us in the city of Peabody, from our community development department, our city council, uh, chamber of commerce, we have a wonderful chamber of commerce, all of us have the same goal, to create a vibrant, active, exciting downtown. And we've been taking steps now for a number of years. I feel like every month we're taking another positive step. Uh, we have a ways to go, but I feel like we're taking positive steps and moving in the right direction. And breaking grounds is just another great step for us to making that, to reaching that goal and attaining the downtown that all of us want. So I'm uh, happy to be here on behalf of the city of Peabody. I do have a little certificate that I wanted to present. And it's a certificate of recognition uh, given in recognition of entrepreneurial spirit in organizing and operating a business, creating jobs, and helping to grow our local economy. And presented to break, Breaking Grounds on behalf of the City of Peabody. Uh, we're so excited and it's wonderful to have uh, all of you here working uh, towards our goal of a successful downtown. And I said entrepreneurial, correct. I don't think I've ever said it right. I don't think I've ever said it right. <laughs> but thank you. And now I'm going to turn it over to, to Joanne Simons uh, for a discussion on how this all came to happen. This coffee shop rec uh, represents a change in the way services and supports to people with disabilities are going to be uh, seen in the future. We're no longer going to be just building up places for people with disabilities that we're supporting, but we're going to be working with the communities in which we're part of, and we're going to be identifying what their needs are, and then we're going to see whether or not those needs can match the mission of our organization. Because in order to have a truly inclusive community, we can only work together with our communities and with our local officials and with our partners. This is a place to train individuals with disabilities not to be here in as much as you're going to love having them wait on you. They're being trained here because they're going to have jobs in other places in the community. And I hope you get to meet Chris Stark, who's here with us today. I think Chris is the only uh, trainee presently here. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. So. I've actually had the pleasure of knowing Chris since he was a little boy, and it's kind of amazing to see that he's turned into a young man who can handle a cash register, um, greet people in terms of his hospitality, and uh, clean up, and uh, I bet you're going to probably learn to make some coffee too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so with the support of uh, the Department of Developmental Services, also he received support from, he went to Salem State University, graduated from Project Search. Um, and though the people who aren't here who deserve the most credit are his family, who um, have supported him his entire life. Thanks, Chris. And now the architect for this, you know, because this doesn't happen without somebody. Um, and uh, so the architect of this is Tim Brown, who was the director of our day supports and has recently changed roles. We're very excited because now he's the director of innovation and strategy, and that's the kind of role that we want to have more of, um, and so you're going to see more innovation and more strategic development. And uh, uh, Chris Lovasco, who's the CEO of the YMCA, who is also on our board, just walked in late. Not to steal the thunder from Tim Brown, though. Thank you, Joanne. Just a couple of quick remarks. I just, again, want to thank the city for all of their support and help. Um, this could not have happened without full support from everybody from the Board of Health uh, to the Community Development Office, from the guidance um, from them after running the pop-up cafe over the summer. They were really a huge support and I want to thank the mayor for encouraging his staff to be as supportive as they were. A couple of things that I just wanted to highlight that the cafe is doing, as Joey had mentioned. The goal behind the cafe is not only to help and serve the community of Peabody, but it's also to provide employment training opportunities. So the vision behind the cafe is to be able to work with adults who are interested in either food service or customer service and really haven't had the experience or the background um, to be able to go out and get good quality jobs. So we're hoping that they'll be able to spend a couple of months with us here learning different aspects of um, the food service industry, be able to identify exactly where their interests lay, and then we can help them focus on that, assist them to getting jobs elsewhere, and then backfill them with someone new. So hopefully, even though we love having Chris and Lindsay here, they won't be here forever. That's our goal, and we'll have some new folks coming in. Just a couple of last pieces of business. We have some complimentary cookies by the door on your way out. 
um, and some gift certificates, so hopefully you'll come back again. They're not good for today, though. <laughs> And then some of the other highlights that we're going to be doing in the shop is um, the artwork that you see hanging up. We're going to be working with a lot of the local artists. Uh, Desiree Ferreras, who just left the Northeast Arc. She was the assistant manager at the Canning Company at the Arc Works Community Art Center around the corner, um, is the first to display her artwork. But we'll be doing rotating art shows um, featuring first the uh, local Peabody artists. And then we have some shine jewelry and we'll be doing a pop-up store here as well over the weekend for Small Business Saturday, the yeah. <laughs> end. Um, but Shine will also be featured here as well as some of the other craft works uh, that they make at the Artworks Community Art Center.